Great. I'm Eric, and this is my Nectar Review, or, I don't know, what do you want to call this? A, uh, unboxing? Unbagging? Ah. Whew. So, this finally came. Um, yeah, the, uh, the FedEx guy was very, very happy that I was home today because, uh, according to the shipping notice, this thing weighs 105 pounds. I also found out that, uh, the FedEx has a limit of 150 pounds for any delivery, and, uh, I gotta be honest, I don't think the guy that delivered this was barely more than 150 pounds, so if he'd have had a max load delivery, he'd have been up a crick. So anyway, this is my king-size nectar mattress. Isn't it swank? Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit behind on this deal, because, uh, I actually ordered this in January. Granted, it was January 31st, but you know, still in January. So I'm just gonna try to get this outer layer off here, see if I can do it without tearing anything. Uh, and I'm not sure when this is gonna get uploaded, but today is March 7th. Um, not sure what the delay was. I did contact customer service a couple times. Um, pro tip, customer service is not the one who screwed up your order. They're the ones trying to help you. So if you're a dick to customer service, you get what you deserve. Anyway, I was nice and uh, they did everything they could to try to make sure that this was getting taken care of. Um, I did get the deal. So this is the size is supposed to be $900. I think they knock $125 off of that. And then uh, you get free shipping and then uh, supposedly there's pillows in here as well. We'll find out. Um, oh, so little instructions. Uh, the forever warranty. Basically, if you don't screw it up, it's good to go. I'll read that later. And a little opener doohickey. So, anyway, long story short, I don't know why it took so long to get this thing shipped, but they did give me a little bit of a credit for it because it took so long. Um, for all you reviewers out there, I, I've watched way too many of these videos. So, um, one of the things that kind of annoyed me is that everybody says they got their mattress comped for review purposes. Well, hello, that's waking up. Um, I, I did not comp this. I, I researched this thing for months upon months and decided that I needed a new mattress and that this was gonna be, this was gonna be it. So, I shelled out my own hard-earned cash for this. Thank you, income tax return. So, yeah. I mean, okay, you can see me from the video here. I'm your average, typical fat guy. Um, I'm currently kicking it a little over six foot tall and 300 pounds. Um, I do have back issues sometimes when I sleep. It's the way it is. Uh, pretty much every mattress I've bought recently has been about a grand, give or take. Um, so this one is obviously a lot cheaper than some of the other ones I've had. Um, total with tax, not counting a small credit they gave me. I think they gave me 50 bucks because it was so late. But um, total amount on this, uh, less than $800, I think. So. And I'm just trying to, 
I watched another guy do an unboxing video where he got too close and he actually tore the cover on this thing. So I'm trying to stay well away from the mattress itself. Man, this thing is... I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just popping and cracking and going crazy. And... pillows. Now, I've heard a lot about these pillows. I'm not going to say much about it right now, but uh, where are my other pillows at? Somewhere buried underneath here. Yeah. Okay. So currently, on the bed, before I took it apart, I've been using these, I don't know if you've seen these, these bamboo pillows. They're supposed to be filled with shredded memory foam. And from my understanding, these are essentially the same thing. Uh, the difference being, well, not really, because you can open this one up too. Um, a lot of people didn't like these. They were too hard um, or they just slept weird. And you can, in fact, open them up and take some of the stuffing out, make them softer or firmer if you want to, uh, assuming you have more fill. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm actually, I'm kind of hoping that the Nectar pillows are the same because I, I really do like these these bamboo pillows um, lots of silica gel okay but the way that they uh, ship this guy is upside down ooh that's kind of cool what is that it's like it's like little plastic or rubber nubbins on the bottom. Maybe for a non-slip, I guess. So. Ah. Scare the cats. All right, which end is it? Here, okay. Initial impression. Um, obviously, this still has. Ooh, that's kind of cool. This still has some room to grow, and luckily it's mid afternoon. I'm going to be having plenty of time to let this thing inflate before I sleep on it tonight. Um, but it's definitely shorter than my last mattress. Um, they say it's supposed to expand to about 11 inches thick. I think my last mattress, a little. Uh, coil, pillow, pillow top, uh, that was about 14 inches thick. So, kind of curious if my sheets will still fit because I have all deep sheets. But, uh, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know what good it's gonna do. I mean, the top is very soft, but obviously I'm gonna be throwing a, a mattress pad and everything else on this thing, so. No biggie there. Um, yeah, so there you go. The nectar mattress Ooh, look logo um and yeah stay tuned we're gonna i'm gonna sleep on this thing we're gonna see how it goes i think probably a couple days or a week i'm gonna post another video that basically just says what i thought of it um hopefully it's good um i do want to keep this um yeah stay tuned